This is the Iowa Weather Report for Monday, September 23rd, 2013. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we have some energy with a bit of a trough axis coming into the Plain States, another one moving into the Canadian Maritimes, a ridge in between the two. And that ridge is going to keep most of us fairly tranquil today, high pressure off in the Great Lakes, the winds will be coming around from the south. Temperatures today will be in the 70s with some breezing conditions out of the south, especially in the western half of the state. As we head into Tuesday, you can see a little bit of lingering rain. It'll be a Monday night, Tuesday morning thing, mainly in the western and northwestern counties. The rest of the state remains dry. A touch cooler on Tuesday with a few degrees cooler, highs upper 60s to mid 70s, but then it warms back up a little bit, back into the 70s statewide here on Wednesday as the winds begin to switch around back to the south ahead of the next storm system that'll be off to our west. This will be fairly slow to move with a ridge in between that system off to our west and a system off the Canadian Maritimes that'll be slow to move. So this system is going to take its time to get here. It'll Thursday it'll be fairly windy, breezy out of the south. Friday it'll just be moving into the western counties of the state. The eastern half should remain dry but increased clouds with maybe a shower or storm as I said in the western counties. Then the system finally moves in here as we go into Saturday. So unfortunately the first half of the weekend next weekend looks rather wet across the state. In fact, it could be an all-day rain. Highs maybe in the 60s if there's a lot of rain and a lot of clouds around. And then Sunday, the sun looks to break back out. Maybe a few lingering clouds in the eastern counties early in the day. Temperatures will be a skosh warmer given no rain and no clouds with highs mm, around 70. And then next Monday, we have pretty much the main storm track back in Canada again, a ridge over the southwest, a bit of a west-to-west -west northwesterly flow aloft. That'll keep the temperatures somewhat in check with high pressure, a couple of high pressures around. So it doesn't look overly cold. It doesn't look overly warm. So, But any rainfall will be well to our east and well to our south, and unfortunately... As we head into the extended period, oh my goodness, here's this big trough and a huge ridge over the west. And this big trough is going to bring big changes. We saw this yesterday. It's back today. And this brings the 540 line all the way into the center part of the state. Rain showers look to break out. Maybe some wintry mix just to our north and east. And the surface temperatures will be warm enough for all rain. And then even at the end of the forecast, that trough really doesn't go away. The ridge breaks down in the west, but the trough is still around from about the plains eastward. And this means it's going to get drastically colder as we move into the second week of October. It looks like another push of cold air is going to come down with that high pressure coming out of Canada. So you can say goodbye to the 80s and warmer for this year because it looks like it's going to get much colder. Satellite image from last evening, we had a system off into the Plain States with a few showers and an isolated thunderstorm, a couple of clouds along the Gulf Coast and out into the Atlantic, and elsewhere it was fairly quiet. The watch warning map from last evening, we had some frost and freeze advisories across northern Arizona, northeastern Nevada, in the Great Lakes, a few flood issues in the Rockies, and elsewhere it was fairly calm at this point. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Friday evening at 7 o'clock showing most of the rain over the next couple of days will be in the western counties where they could get up to a quarter of an inch heaviest over the northern Rockies and along the Gulf Coast.